This is Dr. C. Dexter Wise III with the Lord's top two commandments. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. All your mind. If your mind is a part of you and God wants all of you, then it stands to reason that you should also love God with your mind. I don't know why it is that the mind is the last thing that Christians bring in the church and the last thing they give to the Lord. But did you not know that you can focus on God with your mind? Philippians 4, 8 says, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report. If there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. You can have his mind. Philippians chapter two, verse five says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Then you can ask God to renew your mind. Romans 12, two says, and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Then on top of that, you can use your mind to understand God and wrestle with God through your thoughts, through theology, through reflection and through meditation. And then finally, you can be in awe of him when you consider him with your mind. Oh Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. A mind is a terrible thing to waste, so why not use it for God?